Welcome to the Voltimum webinar series. My name is Eduardo Yudaski. I'm the National Category Manager for Automation Systems at Legrand Australia. The objective of this webinar is to demonstrate how to set up a little Zigbee system to control a set of lights. So what is Zigbee? Zigbee is a wireless radio frequency control protocol, specially designed for control, monitoring and sensing applications. Zigbee is also designed for low data rate and low power consumption. Zigbee is based on an IEEE standard and the Zigbee Alliance is an open non-profit association of members that design the Zigbee standard. Before we get started, I would like to explain the main components of the Zigbee network. Here we've got a battery operated Zigbee transmitter. Here we've got a, a mains operated receiver, which, in, which is connected to the set of lights, as we can see here. Zigbee network can be set up by a process called push and learn. And push and learn is a simple sequence of presses through different buttons on each device to create the network associate the devices and program the buttons. There are three steps to set up a Zigbee network. Step one, creation of the network coordinator, which is the main operator device and is the one that holds the database of the network. Step number two, associating devices to the coordinator, such as this one. And step number three, is to program buttons to control different lights. Step one, create network coordinator. To create a network coordinator, we need to identify the device which is connected to the main wiring, which is in this case, this one. Firstly, we remove the cover off, then this little cover, then press the network push button down for three seconds, one, two, three, orange LED briefly turns on, solid on and after starts blinking twice a second and then press again the network push button shortly and the network LED starts blinking three times a second and two seconds off, three times a second and two seconds off. This device now is the network coordinator and we move to step number two. Step number two, associating devices to the coordinator. This process allows the network coordinator to build a database of devices that they will belong to the same network. Here we've got the network coordinator and an easy way to determine this is the network coordinator is by just looking at the network LED which is blinking three times a second and two seconds off. Three times a second, two seconds off. That's a very easy way to determine this is the network coordinator. The next step is press the network push button for a short period of time. The network LED starts blinking twice a second. Then we go to the device and press the network push button briefly. And we can see that the network LED goes solid on, which indicates that it is transmitting to the coordinator all, all the details of this unit. This process takes around four to five seconds. Once it's finished, the network LED blinks slowly. And then lastly, we need to press one more time the network push button on the coordinator and as we can see both LED are off and this one starts blinking then three times a second two seconds off which is back to the steady state situation step number three programming buttons to control the relays or actuators here we've got a relay that is hardwired to the line. And what we are going to demonstrate is how to program this button to control the lights if like if we were, if we were pressing this button here. The process is the following. Turn 
this off. Firstly, we press the Learn Push button. We can see that the green LED in here will start blinking once a second. Then we select which push button we want to use, this one. Then the green LED starts blinking twice a second. The same process in here. Press the Learn Push button briefly. The Learn LED starts blinking once a second and we actually manually turn the lights on. As we can see here, the green LED starts blinking twice a second. Then we go back to the device and press finally the Learn Push button one more time. And we can see here that the green LED, the Learn LED on the device and on the coordinator are both off, indicating that this process is finished. And we press this button in here. And we just managed to program this button. Finally, we need to assemble all the parts together and we are going to place the keypad covers on, second keypad cover on, button cover and second button cover. We do a quick test. As we can see here, we've got two different finishes. This is a Wengi type finish and this is mirror black type finish. Both belong to the Legrand RTO range where we've got up to 17 different finishes to choose from. To demonstrate the power of Zigbee, we can turn the lights on and off either from the transmitting device, the wireless transmitting device, or the receiver having a two way switching in this way and I can take away the keypad and place it away from the receiver to a distance of up to 25 meters indoors and up to 100 meters outdoors and still being able to control the lights on and off. Now that we have seen how to program a Zigbee system, I would like to tell you about a recent case study that happened in Sydney, Australia. There was an hotel with 60 air rooms where they required an additional switching point, but they were unable to run additional wires. The Legrand technical team advised the customer that Zigbee would be the ideal solution for them. When the system was installed, the customer realized how cost-effective the solution was, because they were able to save time and money, and in addition they were able to match the decor of the plates with the decor of each room. Zigbee is the ideal solution for commercial and residential applications where new wires is not possible or too hard to run. For example, heritage buildings or the example that I just gave in the case study. The grant offers a complete range of RTO Zigbee products and they can be found in our website, legrand.com.au. This concludes the webinar series, and for additional webinars, please refer to voltimum.com.au forward slash webinars. Thank you for your time.